looking great. He's right. Have a nice day, officers. Hey, guys. Have you eaten already? We have, Lucy. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Such an unforgettable Ella. You must be confused. I'm Lucy. I meant the one from the fairy tale. I guess you don't know what I'm talking about. A fairy tale? Stop fooling around. I don't understand your humor, Major Sir. <sighs> Let's go. It was delicious, thank you. Yes, it was all really nice. Love, you gotta stop teasing her. She's a good girl. Different sense of humor, that's all. Every girl is a good girl. For a while. A woman can't be a friend. Let's go. Lucy, would you please clean up my table? Lucy, let's go to the movies. Lieutenant Colonel, sir, please. I have a lot on my plate and you want to go to the movies? Lucy. Lovely is mocking me again. Called me Ella from a fairy tale. Have you heard of it? Ella from the fairy tale? She's a funny girl. <laughs> is she stupid? Not at all. Let it go. Listen, don't pay attention to him. His life has been very harsh. He was a lieutenant and he caught his bride with the commander just before the wedding. So he beat him up and he nearly lost his job that time. I see what's going on. Of course, I see. Now all the women are the same for him. No. They say a girl from the city comes to see him sometimes, so. You can't go in. It's not allowed. Hello. It's okay. She's with me. Thanks. Mwah. Surprised? <laughs> you look great. Oh, Marina, I ask you not to come without warning. If I were in pre-flight training, what would you do now? Waiting here on this cold weather all by yourself? Can you stop nagging? Okay. I only came for one day. I'll leave tomorrow morning. Really? Yes. And by the way, if we were married, I would be waiting for you at home with dinner. You wouldn't have to come to the checkpoint. How are your arch rivals doing? <sighs> the contingent is getting worse and worse. Contingent? What an evil word to choose. I didn't choose it. That's how it is. That's how they call them in the juvenile department. You're probably right, though. You can't really love someone else's child. My grandmother does. Grandmother? Mm -hmm. Every boarding school child calls her that because she truly loves her. Well, could you really love someone else's child? No, I don't think so. Mm. Told ya. Let's get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice here, I love it. It's like a fairy tale. It's covered with snow. I'm not the biggest fan of snow, but I guess it does look pretty. And your grandson, Anna, doesn't listen. Or look at me. Mom, you have to say he doesn't notice me. <laughs> okay. Mom, who doesn't notice you at all? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you notice me. Right? You see me, and you love me. Son, can you ask in the library about a fairy tale with a character named Della? Of course, Mom. I'll ask around. Thank you, hon. <sighs> painted on the wing. My dad has a hawk. That's clearly a hawk. Wanna bet? A gum. Deal. 
Valley here with you. When I do have a dad, he'll be a pilot too. You have to get a dad first, and then we'll talk. And if he's a technician, like Misha's dad? Technicians are needed too. They prepare planes for their flight. And our dads fly on them. Right, Katia? Let's go. Val, let's go home. Val, want to go sledding with me? Why don't we go to the airfield and look at the eagle? Yeah? Let's go and see the hawk too. Misha, why are you standing there? Mom, I'm going for a walk. You'll take a walk later. Come home. Lunch is getting cold. Come home now. It's cold outside. Val, go to your mom. Go home. To stare, to look, to look, to see, to look, to look, to see. To chat, to talk, to say... What are you reading, huh? <sighs> this. Wow. Synonym dictionary? Uh-huh. I bought it the other day. Val really wants his mother to speak clear and nice. Good for you. Study. Keep reading. What? To study, to investigate, to research. <laughs> oh, God. I study and study, but I don't understand what I'm studying. Clara, you're so smart. You bet I am. <laughs> and you are very beautiful, Lucy. All the men look at you. Uh -huh. The players look at me, but decent men turn away. You mean Lavi? No, I don't. I don't care about him at all. I look through my fingers and he's invisible. Rosa, don't look at him. <clears throat> Clara, um, can you please leave us alone? I need to talk to Lucy. Of course. Mm-hmm. Lieutenant Colonel, Lucy. sir, can we talk later? Sitting side by side to have a good talk? I don't have time to talk right now. I'm studying. Later? Later? You have to respect your beloved boss. It helps, you know, both at the service and personal life. With all due respect, I'm doing my best. The first dish is always for you, I... I'm not talking about the food. Don't forget that you just started working for us. And it was me who helped you get here. So to speak, you should be grateful. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful to the grave. You're kidding, right? Well, if it wasn't for me... Think about it. You'd still be washing dishes in your railway station cafe and your kid would be in boarding school. This tutor of yours, what's her name? Mrs. Anna. Oh, Mrs. Anna. She asked me to help you. A sweet young girl from an orphanage. <clears throat> Living alone with a kid. I wanted to help. I did. But you don't care. Lieutenant Colonel, sir, I do care. I appreciate it. I really do. You talk a lot. It's only words. That's all you do, right? Lucy, your son is here. Hello, sir. Hello. So, why is the kid here now? Huh? Where else could he be? I work half to death every day from morning till night. Lucy, don't... Work so hard. You need to rest more. Mom, don't say you work half to death. Just say you work <laughs> hard. Okay. I'm trying my best not to say rubbish. It's nonsense. <laughs> okay, nonsense, nonsense. Come here. Your lunch is ready. You said that correctly. <laughs> Val, I have to cut your hair, shaggy boy. Bon appétit. Thank you, Mom. Diner. Open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Val. Val, 
you left your hat. <laughs> Here. All right. Now go home and do your homework. Okay? There will be a snowstorm tonight. Got, got it? it? Mom. Mom, wait. I forgot. Here. <laughs> Thank you, son. Now go. Just please be careful. Okay, I will. Flight Commander, Major Lovey speaking. The flights of the first shift and it's 1600 hours. Lieutenant Colonel Ivchenko here. It's just that the car on duty is delayed. Why is that? Some kid went missing in the garrison. They're trying their best to find him before the blizzard hits. Wow. And how grown is the kid? What? Is he a big guy? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. In the meantime, a card game, huh? huh. No, I'll go. I don't want to wait. Bye. Whatever, then. Oh. <sighs> Is Val here? Val? No. Is Misha home? Mm, Misha's here, doing his homework. What's going on? I'm asking you for the last time, where is Val? Hmm? Honey, look at me. I said look at me. I see in your eyes you know where he is. I don't know. Misha. Misha, please, I'm begging you. It's freezing out there. I beg you, please tell me. Say something! Please, can you get me out of here? I hear you now. I'm working on a plan to get you out. Finally. Hear me out. I'm lowering my legs for you to grab them. Now just hold on tight. Pilot, we'll figure it out together. Uh, uh. So tell me, how'd you I end up was down there? And then I fell. I'll try something different. Pilot, grab this belt with both hands. Don't worry about the boots. Remember to do it with both hands. I'm pulling you up. Got it? Oh. Pilot, you okay? Yeah, we're fine. That didn't work at all, Pilot. 
It's okay, we'll find another way. Listen, pilot, take this. Warm up for now. I'll be right back. Okay? this stick as hard as you can. I'll pull you out. Hold tight. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hold on. We're almost there. Well done. Pilot, are you okay? I'm okay now, thanks to you. What's your name? Bob Valentine. I'm Ivan Lovey! Uh, go! Uh, we did it! What's going on? Val has been gone for three hours and Misha won't tell us where he is. Misha? Do you want to do this the hard way? Don't worry, there's no need to do that. Misha, listen to me please. If you don't tell us, Val might get lost, you know? Don't you want your friend back? So you can continue playing with him? Misha, please, tell us where he is. He doesn't need a friend. He will... He has to learn to play alone, right? Right? He went to the airfield. He wanted to see the hawk. To see a hawk? The... the hawk that's painted on the airplane. <gasps> oh, Lord. For Christ's sake. A hawk. You should have told us about this sooner. You have to help your friends always. It's over now. Let's go. Dinner is ready. Yes, he's ours. He's our pilot. You're alive. Why Thank weren't you, you looking after your Thank son, God Lucy? You're alive. Huh? I was so worried. Mom, don't cry. Gordon and Lovey pulled me out. There's no need to do that, all right? But it's so cold Bro, and you don't have a jacket. You okay? Clara, here. Take this. You need to cover no yourself need. from the cold. There's no need. You can I catch said a I cold. Didn't need it. Then let's go. Go where? Let's go to my place so you can get warm again. Where? To my house. Why? So we can drink vodka and warm up. Forget vodka. You need to take your son to the doctor. I'm not having drinks. Come on. And you, call yourself a mother. Ugh. Val, you are going to be grounded, young man. You can't just disappear on us. I need to be warmed up, not grounded. Val, not right now. Your mom is going crazy and you're telling her what to do. <laughs> Oh no, Coronel Lavi forgot his hat. <sighs> Next Wednesday, Lovi, you need to fly again. That's for sure. Lieutenant Colonel, sir, please appoint someone else. Don't you see he's barely breathing? Lovi, there are vitamins and I'll leave this in the fridge, okay? Uh... I can't do it, lovey. I can't take someone else. I need an expert. Uh, Will you do it? I'll go. I'll try. All right. Get well. Hey, how are you, pilot? I'm okay now. Uh, Mr. Lovey, I came to thank you for my son. So it was. Your kid, he was helping out. Indeed. I thought, my God, my God, what would have happened to Val if it wasn't for Lavi? We came to thank you on behalf of Lucy and behalf of the entire staff of the flight canteen to express our admiration for your generosity. Isn't that right, Lucy? Uh, um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's okay. You need a compress. Vodka, cotton, wool, and gauze. There's no need for a compress. Of course there is. You're screeching like a wounded animal. Please, show them their way out. Okay. Thank you so much for visiting. 
I also had a sore throat, and my mom gave me some boiled milk. <laughs> Would you mind drinking some too? <gasps> I will. Do you promise? Look how I do it. Cross on the belly, I will. Cross on the belly. Mom, Lovey has agreed to drink some milk. Finally. Don't be so stubborn next time. All right, we'll start boiling milk. Clara, boil milk at home. Go now. <sighs> Val, this man is like a dad to you now. A dad? <laughs> Get well. drawing oh <gasps> wonderful son why does it say Katie and not Katia well because she will think I fell in love with her <sighs> Ella easily and freely dispensed with only 30 words Mom, Mom, what are you doing? Are you crying? Please don't cry. If it's written here, it means I am as stupid as her. <laughs> well, no, you're not. It just means you talk the same way she does. <laughs> Mom am I if I can't even open a bottle of water? <laughs> and now with Chenko, he's clinging on me. I don't know what to do. Mom? Shh. Good evening. Hello, kid. Can you please open this? Sure. Damn! Thank you. Is your mom home? She's sleeping. Bye! Listen, doctor. I'm a flight commander. My voice is my instrument. Open your mouth. Pull out your tongue. Now do like this. Not uh, but uh. I don't get it. <clears throat> your throat is inflamed, but your vocal cords are fine. What do you mean I'm fine? Oh, why can't you hear my voice? Of course I do, I can. Sure. You're not always whispering, right? You don't understand. I'm the flight commander. The pilots in the sky do not hear anything except my voice. They of course like they this. will. You have one of these things. A microphone. You can bet they will listen. Listen while in flight. Are you out of your mind? Listen to me. Calm down. I can see you're very nervous. You have to stop being nervous. Your vocal cords won't close because you're nervous. It's just stress. <sighs> Calm down. Let me show you. Here you go. It's a throat inhaler. It will help rehabilitate the throat fast, but two to three weeks you have to be silent. All right. That's it. No, it's not. If you don't calm down, your throat won't recover. As soon as you manage to calm your nerves, your voice will be okay. You can go now. Nonsense.
Good job, Peter. Sit down. Children, today is Katya's birthday. Let's celebrate. We should congratulate her together on behalf of our first grade class. Okay? So let's sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Katya, this is a gift for you. Take it. It's from our whole class. Continue being a nice and smart Thank girl. Thank you very much, Mrs. Arena. Sit down. Take Bye. it easy. See you Don't run. Have you seen my turn. book? Oh, there it is. Bye. See you tomorrow. Magic Tales. We read this with Dad in the evenings. Katya, this is for you. I appreciate it, but I can draw an airplane myself. Am I right, girls? Yes, you are. Val, let's get out of here. Are you okay? I don't care. At least I have a dad now. Really? Crossing the valley. I know, but what I need is just, just a general Mr. opinion. Bobby, you know what good I morning. mean? morning. Here's your milk. Please drink it. It's good for you. Lucy. Lucy, can I have some milk as well? Why are you so stubborn? <sighs> drink it. I mean, this is very good for you and effective. Can you please drink it? <sighs> Cross on the belly. Hey, Lucy, come here now. <sighs> well, Clarabel, where's my milk? Lieutenant Colonel, sir, you don't need milk at all. Lucy, why are you talking to me like this? Talking like what? I'm just saying that you don't need it. Stop talking. Well, Lucy, go home and pack your things. We're going on a business trip. A business trip? I'm... Uh, I'm a... I'm a mom. I can't just go. Lucy, dear. This is the army. Not kindergarten. Mom has been in a rush all morning. I almost missed the alarm clock. Mom? Uh -huh. I've washed your clothes. Ironed everything. Mom, I don't want to go to Clara's. She gives me a lot of food. My boy, don't be silly. So, it's time to go. Goodbye. Yeah, finally, we're out of here. Let's go. Okay. Put the luggage on. Yeah, that was it, guys. See you next year. Okay. Yeah. Lucy. Oh, bag is heavy. Go inside. It's warmer there. I'm not cold. Yeah, finally. At your command. Huh. Val! Hello. Are you out you of your mind? Where's Clara? Of course I'm not out of my mind. Mom, I don't yeah. want you to go. Yeah, give it to me. Val, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't want your smart kid be reasonable, please. <sighs> oh, Lord. Val, why are you doing this? I was running after you. Val, listen to me. It will only be for three days. Hey there, pilot. How are you? Val. 
Mom is leaving to the alternate airfield, but I don't want to stay with Clara. I Lucy, see. get in the car. We're leaving now. Hurry up. We're ready. Let's go. See ya. Uh, uh, Major, sir. Talk some sense into him, ready. would you? Let's go. Tell him to go with Clara. All set. I'll try my best. Everyone, Bell. hold tight. Bye. Bell. Let's go. Come on, hon. Masha is waiting for you. Pilot! Did you hear what your mom said? I did. But Clara's daughter only plays with dolls. Hmm. Listen, Clara. What if he stays with me for three days, huh? Pilot, what do you think? I love it! Are you out of your mind? Lucy will kill us. She won't, because you won't tell her, will you? Right. You won't tell, will you? Shall I take your slippers? Well, well if you need them, what do you usually wear? Mash his shoes, like a girl. I hate to wear that. All right, then. Take them. Wait, wait. Val, what's this? Were you... Did you live in a boarding school patronized by a regiment? How did you know? Because my grandmother works there as a teacher. There she is, Grandma Anna. Did you also live in a boarding school? <sighs> well... I didn't live there, but I studied in my grandmother's class. So this is your grandmother? She's my grandmother, too. Well, to you, she's more like a great-grandmother. Great-grandmother? Yeah. Ah, great-grandmother. So that makes you my... Yes. I'll be right there. Well, pilot, are you ready? Yes. Excellent, let's go. We both have to go. Service awaits. Okay. So listen, children. Your homework will be to invite to our class someone that you know who is very interesting. How many interesting people do you know? I know one. My dad is a pilot. Okay, Peter. Good. Then ask your dad to come and tell us all about aviation. Do you agree, kids? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. We, we agree. agree. Great. Tell me, Val. Mrs. Serena, yes. my dad can also come and talk to us. Don't lie. You don't have a dad. Yes, I do. And he's a flight commander. He leads all the other pilots. And he's a hero. He saved Val. All right, then. Val's dad will also come to speak to our class. Does that sound good? What do you think, kids? Yes, yes teacher. We want to hear from Val's dad. Apartments here, huh? I want you to see them. What do you think? They're usually for authorities. But I'll let you stay here. I actually chose the best room for you. If you want, I can stay with you. So let's go. Let's have some fun, Lucy. <laughs> oh, at your command, General. I'm working with the staff. Good. When you're done, come to talk. I will be at the airport. Who? Oh. Yes, sir. Lucy, make yourself at home here. I'll go to the airfield and back to you. You shouldn't. Hey, what are you playing at? Do you want to lose your job and leave with your kid? We don't have a place to go. Oh my. Then be a nice girl and set the table. I'll be back in no time.
exact location. Lovey, I know all about clothes pads, but this is good for parades. In real life, this is hardly useful. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Does Bob cook for you? It was his idea. It smells great. Anomaly? Thanks, Bob. Uncle Lovey can only cook scrambled decks. Wow. <laughs> Oh, come on, pilot. Let's eat. So you were saying... Those closed paths are needed only for parades? Of course. Hey, and what will you do... If your artificial horizon fails... In the clouds, huh? I wouldn't want that to happen. Me neither. Mm, what should I do? If I'm lucky, I'll catapult myself. But if not... This is my last omelet. You're such a poet. Wait, mommy's calling. Sure. Hello? Hello? Thanks. What is an artificial horizon? Do you really want to know? <sighs> then you have to be patient. All right, pilot. Let's fly. Close your eyes. Let's fly. We fly. We fly. We fly, we fly, stop! Now show me, where is the window? There. Where is the table? Here. Okay, open your eyes. You see, pilot, how wrong you are. This is what is called the loss of the artificial horizon. Now that you know, can you say where the Earth is? Here. Exactly, and if the pilot in the sky loses the artificial horizon, he cannot even realize where the Earth is. I fly up to you at a distance of five to seven meters, wing to wing. We break through the clouds in close formation and come in for a landing. The main thing is not to lose the leader. <laughs> now eat your omelet. Captain Lovey. Are you an interesting person? Mm. Am I? No, I'm just... Let me tell you who's interesting. Gagarin. Chikalov. Valerie. Would you maybe like to be like them? Of course. They're heroes. Do you think you can come to our school then? <sighs> hmm? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? It's impossible. Okay. Then you lied saying you wanted to be like him. He wants to go. He's just shy. I didn't lie. And I'm not shy. I just don't want to be embarrassed. How am I going to talk with my voice like this? Oh, you're okay. You just talk like at the Ainur class. Actually, no. She talks even worse. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> no, pilot. No. What's wrong with this? Ah! 
Lucy, dear. <clears throat> I apologize, sir. <clears throat> Stupid rot. Good morning, Mrs. Irina. Good morning. Here is an interesting person. Very good. <gasps> Come in, please. Ivan Lovey. <sighs> nice to meet you, Ivan. The fact is that my first graders, they just love aviation. Am I right, kids? Yes! yes. But as I'm sure you already know, not all their fathers are pilots, so can you please tell them about your fascinating and truly heroic profession? He will do that. Great. Sit down, Val. I'll leave you to your lecture. Kids, please behave yourselves. <sighs> Don't be afraid. Good morning, children. Good morning. Uh, today, I will tell you about aviation. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Can't you see the man's throat hurt? Do you know why Major has a sore throat? He saved Val and he almost died. Wow. wow. Are you a hero? That's amazing. No, no, pilots. I'm just. I'm just a hero. 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 Tell us how you saved Val, please. You know what, pilots? I think it's better if Val tells you. I better tell you how I first took the helm of a fighter. Here is the helmet that I first began my fighter career with. Say thanks to Mr. Ivan. Thank Say you, thanks. Mr. Yes. Ivan. Will you come again soon? He will. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Mrs. Serena. Bye. Bye. Sit down, dear. Your dad is so cool. Children? Let's start our lesson. Whoa! Val, are you going out? I can't. I promised Captain Lobby I'd go to his place right after our school. school. Why do you call him Captain Lobby? Well, my mom left and forgot to tell him that he's my father. Forgot? So he doesn't know yet? Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe when I was born, he wasn't nearby. He was flying because he's a pilot. <sighs> Where were you when I was born? Who, me? When was that? Seven years ago? Uh-huh. Where was I? Here. I was a co-pilot back then. Yeah, that's what I thought. You thought about what, pilot? I'll just... 
Let my mom tell you when she comes back. Mom, yeah. Oh, yeah. I imagine what your mom will tell me. She'll be so upset that I took you here without asking, won't she? No, she won't. You'll see that she's really kind. But she has no luck in her private life. It's okay, Pilot. Don't worry. She will be. She's beautiful, isn't she? Would you like to marry her? <laughs> it's time for gargles. <sighs> then I should gargle. <sighs> Hello? Uh, uh, this is not Ivan. This is Ba. Dad can't talk right now. He's busy gargling. Which dad? My dad. Hey, Pilot. Who was that? A woman. Woman? <sighs> this woman is a policewoman. She'll come here and line us all up. <sighs> Hello, Marina. Did you call? Yes, I'm okay. I just got a cold. The kid. <sighs> His name is Val. Come here and I'll tell you. What exactly did he say? Take me to Clara's? To Clara's? No way. Wait, pilot. Maybe you're tired of me? Because if you want to go to Clara's, I'm okay. It's okay. I'm not tired. Is she a nice woman? She is. <sighs> Don't be afraid. She won't bite you. Take a look at the plane I drew for you. Oh, well, this looks like a fighter. Is it a fighter? Yes, SU-33. You included all the details. Now we need to find a place for it. How about right here? Okay. What'd you think? Do you like it, huh? Cool. My poor baby, your throat hurts. Marina, don't act like a mommy, all right? Listen, leave your army, huh? Let's go to the city. We can live there. What am I going to do in the city? What to do? You can start by living a life. I will take you to our office. You can live with me. I've been coming here like an idiot for two years now, you know? And what about the aviation? What about me? But you don't fly anymore. What aviation? You know why I don't fly anymore. Yes, I know. You told me. Listen, I miss you so much. Why are you so quiet? Have you ever catapulted before? Ah, <sighs> catapulted. I did it once. Boy, do you know what time it is? No. Well, it's actually 1 a.m. At this time, you shouldn't be asking stupid questions. It's not stupid. It's about aviation. And you should take care of your throat. Woman, don't yell at my dad. 
boy, he is not your father. Except that he is. His grandmother is my great-grandmother. What is he talking about? Is he telling the truth? <sighs> well about Grandma, yes. Is he from the boarding school? I was at boarding school, and now I live with my mom. Honey, he's just a homeless puppy ready to call anyone he meets dad. Better stop talking. <sighs> Wanna go to bed? Mm -hmm. Come on. Are you going to leave me? I won't leave you until your mom comes back. And after that? Yes. I don't know when I'll be back. Marina, please, come on. It's not about you. Bye. Val, why do you need so many dictionaries? Mom is learning new words with this one. Right here. And with this one, she learns how to pronounce words properly. And the rest are just to learn all new things. Pronounce correctly. What do you mean? She speaks fluently. She does. But you know how difficult it is when no one understands you. I know. Val. I need to tell you something very important. Don't be upset, but uh, I'm not your... <gasps> Mommy! <laughs> Me and Daddy are waiting for you. You and Dad? Who's Dad? I'm sorry. It just happened. I live with my dad. <laughs> Val, he's not your dad. He's Uncle Ivan. Why didn't you tell him? I tried to tell him, but there was... No time. Mom, do you call your dad Captain too? <sighs> Val, you already know I didn't have a mom nor a dad. But I have both, right, Daddy? <sighs> right. Here, Val, eat this. Lucy, forgive me for asking, but does Val have a father? You know, a real one. What kind of father is he? He doesn't give a damn about Val. You don't have to worry. I'll explain it to him later. There's no need. You don't need to tell him anything. Neither of us had a father. He should have one. What? You're an orphan too? Yeah. Well, I am one as well, uh... <sighs> I dreamed about a father. He left me and my mom when I wasn't born yet. I know. Mm, my mom left me in the maternity hospital. I know nothing about my dad, so... You must know my grandmother. Mrs. Yes. Anna? <laughs> She's such a kind woman. By the way, she asked Lieutenant Colonel Ivchenko to take me here. <laughs> Why? Why didn't she ask me? Well, maybe she didn't want you dealing with women. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Well, I'll, I'll leave now. Oh, thank you so much. There's no need to thank. You know what? If you need to go to a business trip again and... No, I won't go. 
I've messed with Ivchenko's brain. Huh? <laughs> what did you do? Well, I fooled him. Fooled him? That's right. And why are you so proud? All of you are the same. Men want to be honest with you and you lie. What? I better go. No, wait a minute. Well, of course. You think men are more honest than women. If you're cheating, it's only to keep women happy, right? Like my ex. He wanted to trick me into getting an abortion, but I didn't. And I gave birth. I gave birth and I'm happy. So tell me. Not every man lies for our own good, right? Please leave my home. You're no longer welcome. Lucy. Have you noticed you speak much better now? I do? Are you serious? I can only talk like Ella from the fairy tale? Or have you changed your mind about that? Did you see that? You're a great speaker. When you worry. What are you talking about? Show me passion. You- You wanted to beat me? Ivan, breakfast is ready. I made dumplings for you. Homemade. <sighs> Marina, it's time for you to go back to the city. Why are you being so rude? <sighs> is it because of what's his name? <sighs> you know his name. He's my son, Valentin. Understood? Sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, where's that breakfast? You don't ever tell me anything anymore. They look delicious. That's kind of you to say, Ivan. <sighs> well, there's nothing to say. <sighs> I didn't expect it. I just like him. Like he's a real son of mine. I made tea for you. <sighs> Maybe you could skip work today. Sure you can take a sick leave. I'll be okay. Just please. Don't tell anybody about file, okay? How could I possibly tell I haven't seen your waitress? She's not mine. Goodbye. Ivan, come for lunch later. I can treat your throat as well. Now this way. That's good. I'm doing it that way. Hey! How's your voice? Better. <sighs> Lieutenant Colonel, have you ever flown this aircraft? I've already flown in everything here, General, sir. I see. Launch. Launch is allowed. Frog, 33 repeat. Launch is allowed. Flight commander, what's wrong with your microphone? It's not the microphone. It's my voice. Sore throat. Lieutenant Colonel, what is going on in here? General, sir, this is Major Lovey. He lost his voice. He is getting ready for retirement. Rovi. Major Rovi. Trout. Was it you who landed a failed engine fighter just two years ago? 
Yes, sir. Lieutenant Colonel, and despite that, you want this pilot to retire? Who will fly then? General, sir, he no longer flies. His spine was damaged on landing. Therefore, he was decommissioned from flying. There is a task. I need his voice to be recovered. Clear? Copy that. Get his voice back. Correct. Let's go. If I must deal with you, boy, I have experience. <clears throat> Hello. Yeah, right. I've been waiting for you. Mm. Lunch is cold already. And, uh, do you know where the plane is? What plane? The one that was right here. I gave it to Val. Hmm. What does that mean? I just want us to be together. Uh, it was two years ago that we first met, remember? I do. I just try and try, but you... <sighs> uh, don't cry, Marina. You sh you shouldn't cry. You shouldn't cry. <sighs> Don't cry. Here's your food. Do you want anything Hello? else? Oh yeah, where's Ivan? I'll be right on it. Uh, I don't know, Lucy. I'm waiting for him too. Right this way. <clears throat> Thank you, delicious as always. Thank you. Do you need anything else? Lucy, come here. Do you know where Ivan is? <laughs> to, to your health. Don't tell me he's sick again. With his health, Lucy. <laughs> you will retire soon. <sighs> Lieutenant Colonel, sir, why are you saying this? What am I saying? Well, you're saying that he will retire soon. Lucy, watch the way you talk to me, okay? <laughs> I just said, actually not me. Division commander. If he doesn't treat his throat, he has to leave the force. <laughs> How are you, my dear? What's wrong? Clara, everything's wrong. The divisional commander said Ivan will be retired. <gasps> Don't cry. Don't cry, I'm telling you. Did you bring milk for him? Of course. I do it every day. <sighs> That's it. What is? Well, if milk isn't helping, then we have no choice. We shall treat him with more radical methods. <gasps> My grandfather, whenever his throat hurt, used to take a glass of port wine. He opened his throat like this and started to drink it all. Blah, 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 hey, blah, Mouthy, blah. dishes are getting cold. Stop talking. Go, go. I'll tell you all about the wine later. Does it hurt? No. It's okay. I'll go.
May I help you? Help me? Is Lavi... Who's looking for him? I am... I am the waitress, Lucy. You're Lucy. So he's sick because of you. Because of my son. I am so sorry. I brought this. What's this, port wine? Mm-hmm. To get him drunk? Drunk? No, to get better. Clara's grandfather made gargles with that. Don't worry, this will be helpful. What do you want from him? From Clara's grandfather? From Ivan. Don't you think it's enough that your son is up his neck already? Is that what he told you? Take the bottle already. <gasps> Lucy! <gasps> Lucy! What did you tell her? Nothing! Where are you going? Lucy, wait! Stop running! Don't touch me! I hate you! Why did you tell her that? My son is up to your neck? Of course I didn't tell her! I didn't tell her that! Bella's like a son to me! He's my I son! He's no one to it's you! You better remember that! You have to take care of yourself! Let go of me! I'm sorry! Lucy, I wanted to see you! Leave Good me evening. alone! Hello? You vulgar, worthless man! Watch your mouth. I'll fire you. Then do it! I despise you! Stop I talking. find you repulsive! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Uh, uh, I hate let's go. you! Don't touch me! For how long? From the moment he... pulled her boy out of the hole. Lucy! Can you do something about it? At your command. Mind. Hello, guys. Are you in a relationship with Lovi? Yeah, a serious one. I see. Love him and leave him. None of your business. But it is. We could combine our efforts. If you need me for anything, find me at the headquarters. Lucy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lucy, please forgive me. I'm an idiot. I trusted a woman. So did you tell her that? What I said is that Val's my son. I'll tell him that you're a liar. Now let me go. Then go and tell him, fairy tale Ella. What? What fairy tale? Mom? A bad one, bad and sad. Mom, Dad, why are you arguing? Son. This man is not your... Uh, 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 uh. Why did you do that? That's enough. Val, shut the door. You'll catch a cold. Go on. Was that? Yeah, I don't know. I guess we're partners now. Department of the Interior. Hmm. Captain. I realized I couldn't fight this alone. Mm, that's what I told you. I know that you did. You need the waitress, and I need Lovi. Please have a seat. <clears throat> he didn't sleep at home because of her. Now I see what's going on. Here! Look at this, kid! Hold this, and this. Ah! Ah! Let's go!
Well, pilot. If Louis gets fired from the army, then we both get what we want, right? Certainly. What do we need to do? Hmm. The best thing is getting him in a fight. We could also get him drunk. Except... He doesn't drink. At all. Then a fight will have to do it. Very good then. But he won't fight with a woman. So I guess that you'll have to do it. My jacket, come on, hurry up, come on, son. Listen carefully. I'm a lieutenant colonel, and he's a major. If we fight, he'll go to prison. No, he won't. I'll take care of that. Are you crazy? What were you thinking getting out on the cold without clothes? We fight fire with fire. Uh-huh. Son? Where's Ivan's shirt? Mom, Peter used to say my dad is so cool and my dad is so great. But now, my dad is really cool, right? Look how strong he is. Peter's dad isn't like him. Thank you, son. So, Ivan... Marina was right. You will get worse with us. I mean, that you'll get even sicker. Lucy. Uh. I like to get sick with you. Is there anything else you like? You bet I do. Would you like something to drink? <sighs> Cross on the belly. Cross on Ella. Thank you for me. Major! Only a bastard can drink milk. From this cheap bitch. fun she had with the divisional commander. Major, sir. Uh, <sighs> well, get up. Be a man. <sighs> and? Uh, uh, oh. that? I'm not after money. I've paid for everything myself. I've paid for love, for being stupid, even for trusting the wrong person and for being ready to believe again. I will pay with my heart, because I don't know any other way to do it. Because I'm a woman. Lucy! Lucy! You're so smart, you're so kind. You're such a good person, Lucy. This is how it should be. You understand? You're great. And they say women cannot be friends. Really great. Hey! Hey! Stop! Who did it? Here you go. I'll show you. He will tell his dad everything. Don't you know who his dad is? He's lying. He doesn't have a dad. He does. He saved Val. Who, Lovey? I'll beat him too. And then I'll fire him. No, he's a good pilot! Val, he was joking! He's a commander. Commanders don't joke around. Hey, kids! 
Vitamins. Whoa. Yay. <laughs> For you, pilot. What's wrong? I worried, Val. I want to help him. The doctor said his voice is gone because of stress. My dad told me to fight fire with fire. Mm, yeah, of course he did. Fire with fire. I think it's so easy to say that. I guess we need an emergency in the sky then. Ah. Val, you're home. Mom, I'm with Uncle Paul. We're thinking how to help Dad. Why? Was he fired already? No, so far he's okay, but... Tomorrow there'll be flights again. And... Is a general in the garrison? Do you remember? Dad said that... Ooh, he's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Lucy! Lucy! Good evening. Where are you going? <gasps> Sorry, I'm in a hurry. This cannot wait. Lucy! Uh, this is for you. Uh, Ivan, I don't have time for this. Lucy! Why don't... do you have time? This again? Don't get upset, okay? I can't go to the generals with flowers. To the generals. What do you want to do? Don't worry. It's just a private matter. Of course. What a fool. <sighs> Women just can't be friends. Stayed enough at Paul's place. Why don't you come back home? When you leave, I'll come back. Ivan, I love you. Do you understand that I don't love you? I'm sorry, but I don't. Are you in love with the waitress? I don't love anyone. I've had enough. Just go. If that's what you want, then I'll leave. Good. Here, I made some tea. For you. Thank you. Everything I did, I did for you. What do you mean? About us. We must be together. Marina, I just explained this. We won't... We won't be together. I only wanted to get married once. And it was forever. Trout, 300 second launch. 
General, sir, planned flights have launched. I'm Flight Commander Major Lovey. Tell me something. Did you beat Lieutenant Coronel? Yes, sir. You attacked a senior officer. Mm. All because of a waitress. Is she the one you were chasing after... at the alternate airfield? I don't think. I was chasing her. Stop fooling around. She told me everything yesterday. She doesn't know how to get rid of you. A brave young lady stood up for you, Major, but keep in mind, if you ever attack anyone again, you will go to hell. Got it? Yes, sir. Back to work. Copy. General, sir. I need to report. The Major has begun to drink on duty. Major, please give me your thermos. Are you drinking alcohol while on duty, Major? Get out of here right now. What's the matter, General? Sir? Drink at home whatever you want. But drinking alcohol while controlling flights? Alcohol. Out! Right now! Copy. And you take the flight command. Yes, General, sir. The clouds are thick. I'll have to. I don't even know. What do you mean you don't know? Are you a lieutenant coronel or what? It's your decision. I suggest that he ejects. Ejects? Are you crazy? This is not an option. General, sir. Three a second needs to break through the clouds with the help of the lead aircraft. Go on, move from there. Go on, Major. Yes, sir. 300 seconds. Evaluate cloudiness for lead aircraft. Cloud, cloud, I am the 300 second. The clouds are thick with flying first as possible. General, sir, allow me to direct the 300 second to land. I know the pilot. He won't crash and won't miss the leader. Go on, Major. Do it. 244. Trout speaking. Stop the mission. We have a new task for you. Take the second zone at 3300, and the 300 second has a failure of the artificial horizon. You are the leader now. 300 second. Copy. I'm coming. Stay in the waiting area. 300 second. Economy flight mode. Stay in the waiting area. The 244th is coming to you at 3300, and we'll get to you to land. Got it. I'm the 244th. I will get the lead and take it to land. I repeat, I'm the 244th. We'll get the lead and take it to land. Take the lead and get it to land. You're the leader now. We'll be waiting here for directions. Do you copy? Yes, sir. I'm leading the way now.
Well done. May your love you. General, sir. The alcohol isn't mine. I give you my word. Did you do it? <sighs> Come on, no, tell me already! <laughs> Let go! Let go! Uh, ah. <laughs> you said you would tell me later. Lucy, Val, come here! Look, Mom! Your <laughs> voice is okay! <laughs> yeah! Paul, did you do this? Uh -huh. Val has been talking about it all day. What, what, what? What did you do? A sky emergency in order to get your voice back. <laughs> wait, wait. Is it true? Did you set up an emergency in the sky on purpose? Ivan, who do you think I am? Yeah. Bell asked me to help you, but I'm not a five-year-old to make such a farce in the sky, you know? The artificial horizon stacked, I swear. You give me your word. <laughs> what? Shall I dance for you as well? Dance for me, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't help you at all? Of course you did. You all did. You helped me together. It was you. And Lucy. And Paul. Everyone! Lucy, will you marry me? Will you? Well, will we? We will! 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 We will